welcome to the Intuitive Messenger Channel interview series. And I am so excited to have my dear friend who I, I physically have been in contact with because in this world of social media, a lot of times we have people that are good friends that we've never even been in contact. But uh, Melanie McCarthy lives just the other side of the state from me. We connected at Reader Studio, I believe it was two years ago. So welcome, welcome, Melanie. How are you doing today, this evening, this morning, Hi. wherever you're watching? Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, I am thrilled to have you. And and before we got on videotaping and recording it, we were going over this and she probably was going, Mitchell, you're really, really excited about this because I am very excited about what we're going to talk about. And that is the corporate tarot. That is the correct name of it. I'm saying it right, correct? Yes. So this, and I'm going to show the box that I fell in love with. So Melanie sent me this box. And this is the premier edition. And if you are a business person, you'll recognize that this is like a, a, a little folder briefcase that you put things in. Well, this is what the deck comes in for me. It came in for me and she'll share when that will be appropriate. But you also have um, the actual deck that's going to be coming in for, for the, for the normal tarot reader. Yay. There it is. Oh, beautiful. And so, so tell us who you are, who you, who is Melanie? <laughs> so I'm Melanie McCarthy and I retired from corporate America just last year. Um, I've been an executive most of my career in different industries. Um, I had a stint at Home Shopping Network and was a VP of um, sales and, and marketing and internet. Um, I've worked in financial companies and aerospace companies oh. in that same kind of capacity. Cool. So all of that, <laughs> and here you are reading tarot cards because you are a reader. You do read tarot cards, correct? You know, I've read for myself since I was 17. So oh. for many, many, many years um, and for friends. Uh, but with this corporate tarot deck being introduced, I have started reading specifically with that deck for business and entrepreneurial environments. Wonderful. So, so tell us, I just have a few questions for you as we talked about, tell us why this deck, what is this deck all about? And I'll show some images in a moment too. So a couple of years ago at Reader's Studio, I attended the first um, psychology day that I went to, and um, I think I was bolstered by the courage of psychiatrists and psychologists using tarot in their practices. And I thought about, you know, the corporate environment that I had just left. And I was thinking that, you know, there's so much team building going on. Tarot could only help. Just the imagery of it, the interaction that it brings, and, and the opening that it allows for people to think about things in a different way. Um, and then that made me think of existing team building in corporate America. Much of it is built around Myers-Briggs. And so I, it all kind of came together for me at the second reader's studio I went to last year. And um, I came home and worked with um, a very talented art designer and developed this deck. Beautiful. Well, I tell you, you talk about Myers-Briggs and I, and is it Myers-Briggs or Myers-Briggs? Yeah. My Briggs. 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 And, and when I got the deck, I had to go look back up, you know, what my four, my, what my four letters were. And they were the INFP. And I remember thinking to myself, well, I, I usually resonate with the Queen of Cups. I'm a Pisces and the Queen of Cups is often my significator um, in a lot of things. So when it pops up, I pay attention and it's usually significator for a lot of Pisces people. Um, so I pulled your card that would be the equivalent of the Queen of Cups. And sure enough, it is. So collaboration is the word for is the cups. translates for cups. Yeah. So I pulled the partner which is the um, equivalent of the queen. And sure enough, there were the four letters that represented me. So I thought that was amazing that as I'm one of the first things I did with this deck was bring the connection between 
what I look at it in tarot, the Queen of Cups is me, the Pisces, and what Myers Briggs says that I mm-hmm. am, and that is the INFP collaborator partner. So, and and so I mean, I know I pulled that away, but this and and you even said before we started talking, you said that does kind of represent me. She's exuberant. She's ready. She's excited. Yeah. Um, so, and I tell you, the images on the cards are so wonderful, and I'm. You know, I I think a lot of people don't know how I I am kind of a serious, logical minded person. I always say it's my Capricorn moon that people don't see behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But for those tarot readers who want to know some some images, you know, this is technically like the fool. It's card zero. And this is exuberance. And, you know, card number one in the major kind of proficiency, which would be the magician. Um, and let's see, uh, this would be potential, which is high priestess. Uh, yes. So, so such beautiful images and talk to us about, um, and I'm going to show some of the images as you're talking, talk to us about the backs of the deck. So as you're talking, I'm going to show some of the images right. here. Are they upside down? So there's, there's really two strong audiences for this deck. Um, one is corporate America itself in a team building environment using the deck with the Myers-Briggs. So each one of the backs of the cards is different because it um, assists with team building exercises. Um, When you get a few of the different Myers-Briggs types in a room and you say, you know, let's see what we can do with the backs of these. How can we assemble them? All of the styles of um, success and um, difficulties that are associated with those personality types come out. And so the effort is meant to use the backs of the cards to build the mural that's on the box. So that's one of the prime um, team building exercises. There are many, many, many of them. And for a professional reader... When you do, when you put your cards in your layout, it might help you to look at the backs. There's quite a bit of information that's related to the front that's in the imagery on the back. Ah, oh, beautiful. So the more you, the more you use the deck, the more you find those little things. Um, and I won't give away the secret. <laughs> I was hoping you would. You, I was going to ask you, but I'm like, okay, she said no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So uh, tell us what in either your use or, or friends or whoever has, has had their hands on this deck. You know, I'd love to hear either some stories or, or how it's being used, either like you just said in, in full on, you know, team building or in actually like laying out a spread type of a thing. What have you experienced so far? Because this is very so, brand new. I have... Um, Since, I'd say about October, November, I've been reading with the deck um, at a few psychic fairs where I had a lot of experience with it, but I was only taking business clients or entrepreneurial questions. And I have, um, there's a bit of a downturn in the financial industry again. I've done some very specific readings for that group. Um, which have been so well received and gave them enough information to go on and they think to weather this this bit of a storm. Um, it seems to really work very well. The um, Myers-Briggs annotations seem to help people identify with who that person would be in their environment. So I'm, I'm gratified that that part of it's working. Um, The minor cards have a lot of symbols on them, and it uses um, kind of a concept of toxic symbols versus passive symbols. And so when you see a red symbol on the um, cards, you know, think about that in in more of a toxic or or perhaps a a fiery kind of way. Yes. Um, There are... If, if you find a card that has multiple, um, well, this one has um, multiple money signs. There's a pie graph, and then there's a little set of money. There's two justices on there. It typically means that it's multinational or um, ah. something more expansive than just your local group. 
So think of it in terms of corporate terms, and that's those symbols kind of come alive. Um, they're not just pips. Okay, so here what we're talking about is, uh, again, we have a water card here. You see that in the corner. Um, we're saying celebrate motion, and then we have all of these rungs, all of these um, wheels that can turn and move. Um, some of them are more dense than others, so you could interpret it as more beginning. Um, and, and can we see the back of that card? Oh, the four? Oh, if you have it. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. <laughs> and, and so what we see here are four floors right in the middle. Do you see oh. that, that vacant space too? So there's, a, there's an indication. Are we, are we stepping off into, some, into a void, or is it sturdy enough? And here's like the nine. Oh, yes, our nine. That's fulfillment. I mean, in this sense, everything is working well. And what do we have right on the roof? We have a tarot night going uh, on. Um, oh, my gosh. With a band. And everyone's happy and celebrating. And there's a big screen TV at the top. And it's a huge event. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. You're pointing out, you're pointing out even more and more. There's, like, so much to discover here. You just, and I got to tell you, you just blew my mind because I looked at the backs of the cars and I'm thinking, oh, I love this. It's, it's, you know, a city skylight. And now you've just made me double the work because now I'm going to be flipping them over <laughs> because, and normally I, I hardly ever lay cards face down to like do the whole I, reveal. But I tell you with this one, I'm probably going to start laying them face down first to scan and see what's going on there and, or yeah. flip them over a lot, especially once right. I see what's on the other side. Oh. Such, there, it's Thank like you. there's so many layers and so much depth to it. So there are, and um, the ebook mm -hmm. with a lot of this information will be out at the end of May. So the deck will be launched at Reader Studio. We've sold quite a number of them so far, but mostly in the corporate environment. So hopefully, the um, readers, the professional readers, will want this as a part of their arsenal just oh. to help out with business questions. Beautiful. So as you're, you're kind of leading into my, my, my wrap up, so tell them where they can find out more information. What's your website or Facebook page? Sure. The Facebook page is corporate tarot deck and you can purchase the deck there. You can um, find all kinds of other tarot uh, merchandise there too. And the site itself is corporate tarot.org. And there you can find a list of the cards. You can find some information about the symbols um, and a lot about Myers-Briggs. Yeah. And I will say the website really has, I mean, you could spend quite a while reading through and read more. Click here. I mean, so it's very, again, multi-depths, multi-levels. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I, I do have a personal question. So, you know, you said something about the ebook. So I'm assuming I'll get the ebook at some point. I'll be able to look through that. And then you started talking about like team building. Will there be, will you have like either um, examples or ways to do team building or um, I'm trying to, what am I trying to say? Like, um, right. you know, like so, mock workshops. Yeah. Yeah, so we have an instructor's guide and we have participant guides. And the participant guides come with each come with a deck and with exercises. Oh. And it's typically bundled with six together. It's a good a team building um group of six is is really good to work with. However, you know, if if there's a project team that includes more people, of course, we'll just um repackage for that group. But um the entire package of team building sets will be available in late July. They're already being produced, but it, there's just a long window. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that... We do have a few orders for those um, with corporations, so I'm getting Ooh. kind of excited about that. <laughs> well, I will definitely be getting one of those as well, because that excites me to think of you know doing team building workshops and stuff. So. So, Melanie, thank you, thank you, thank you. This deck is amazing. And I am going to set the intention that this would be a game changer 
for the world of tarot and the corporate world and team building. I set the intention that this will be a mind blower at Reader Studio in like two weeks. Is it two weeks? Are we two weeks it away weeks now? now? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm fortunate enough to, to, to do a workshop on the Friday night there. Um, so I'm very I'm excited. I'm so excited for that, Mitchell. Oh. oh. And it's, and Everyone's talking about yeah. this. <laughs> well, well, Angelo and I are fighting it out for who's going to who's. Yeah. They put us the same night. Um, but I'm doing Lights, Camera, Terra. So how to use video in any way, shape, or form for your Terra business. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm using Terra to promote to, to video to promote Terra, as, as you can see right here. So, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Any final parting words you want to say to the, to the folks? Just... Thank you for considering the deck. Think about it. Play with it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day, night, or whenever you're watching this video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.